Hey, what's going on, guys? So, in celebration of 2015 having three Friday the 13ths in it, I'm gonna play Friday the 13th for the NES three times. Now, don't worry, this should go by pretty quickly. It's a pretty short game. Now, I'm gonna be Chrissy every time. So I want to remember what cabin I was in, so that hopefully I get a random pattern. Because every time you start it should be random, so it leads to some good replay value. So let's get it started. Now since this is going to go by fairly quickly, I'm not going to try to explain exactly what I'm doing because it would be pretty hard to explain and I don't think it would help anybody who's trying to play this for themselves. So I'm probably gonna mostly just uh, ramble and say whatever's on my mind for the most part, as usual. So this is a game that probably almost everybody had as a kid. I don't know anybody who either didn't have it or didn't play it with a friend. And generally everybody's opinion was that the game kind of sucks. And that kind of corresponds with today too, because today you ask anybody what they think of Friday the 13th on the NES and they're going to tell you that it's a horrible fucking game. Well, back then, I definitely didn't like it, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I definitely never beat this as a kid, no way. But nowadays with the internet, you can figure out anything. And one of the videos that helped me the most with this was a video called How to Beat Friday the 13th. That's basically what made me be able to be beat this no problem. Because it gave some very good information. And some of it's not 100% accurate, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's pretty much accurate. Accurate enough to where you can beat it. So I actually remember the the day that I bought this game, long, long time ago. Me and my brother, when I was about 10 and younger, and he was a little bit older than me, whenever we'd get home from school and our parents might not be home yet because they'd be working and stuff, we had a strip mall near our house where we would ride our bikes, it was about a mile. We'd ride our bikes to the strip mall and there was a, a game store inside. And on the day that we went in there, I actually bought two games. I seen this one, and I was like, Friday the 13th, hell yeah, that sounds violent, you know, whatever. That's what my little adolescent brain wants. And then I saw Skate or Die, so I bought both of them for five bucks a piece. And while I definitely didn't get very much enjoyment from this when I was younger, I remember me and my brother playing uh, Skate or Die quite a bit. Because it was a little bit easier to figure out. When you're just buying games without manuals, you know, you're kind of going in everything blind since NES never usually had tutorials and all the crap that today's games have. You just kinda had to wing it and try to figure out what you were doing. I mean, there was only two buttons, there was only so many combinations. 
I don't think he's gonna kill me. Nope. Motherfucker. Yeah, that's going by pretty quick. <laughs> I don't actually remember where he just fought me since I was just kind of talking some shit, but uh, whatever, I suppose we'll just run around and see where he ends up. Actually, I just fought him in the woods, I think, so he's going to be here. Because that's one thing a lot of people don't understand about this game is Jason moves in a very specific pattern, no matter if you started the game in a random spot or not, I, I generally have an exact idea of where he's going to be. And any randomness that might occur, I can deal with that too. Because there's ways to make sure that he's going the route that you want him to go. So there's the first <laughs> playthrough done. Yeah, that was a little quick. Try this again. Hopefully we get a different pattern with Chrissy. And she's by the lake, which I think she was last time. Maybe. I don't know. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm going to keep this going anyway. And that's the problem with this, is there's only so many different patterns that you're bound to get one that you've already had before. I keep going in the building without the knife too, because I'm an idiot. And the cat keeps stra scratching at the door. Come on, kitty. But talking about Friday the 13th, I never even really thought about this until I, until I uh, started playing this game quite a bit. But I got a pretty long history with LJN. Because I still have all of my childhood games, and I have five LJN games in there. So I had a good taste of the rainbow back then. And to be completely honest, I don't think I beat any of them. But, out of all the LGN games I had, the cat keeps scratching. <laughs> um, but, uh, out of all the LGN games I had, there's only one of them that I would call garbage. Because all the other ones I had fun with, I might not have ever beat them or anything like that, but they were decent games. The one that I would just say is absolutely terrible is Back to the Future 2 and 3. That game sucks. I will not even pick it up today to try to figure it out because that game is pretty damn long too. But the other ones I had would be Jaws, which speaking of that, Jaws in this game are honestly Pretty similar. I think I just moved Chrissy, which sucks. Yeah, I did too. Um, Jaws in this game are pretty similar. This game's like a more fleshed out version of it. And I think it's a lot better for it because the main problem with Jaws is you're literally going between two different shores just over and over, and that's pretty much all you're doing. Here you're basically in an open world, you know, it's an early sandbox style game where you can go in every single building you see, you can go down whatever path you want, do whatever you want, you know, you don't have to keep people alive, you can let people die. This game has lots of choices. And I really didn't like it back then, but today I really enjoy this game, quite honestly. I've been having a lot of fun with this the past couple days. Just because it's got a lot of replay value when you start at different places every time, and I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I started at the exact same spot. Maybe not. I hope I didn't, but I don't know. 
And the cat's still scratching at the door. Come on, kitty, stop it. I'm trying to record a video for the three people who watch my stuff, goddammit. Don't you care, kitty? Ooh, now we get to fight Jason. Like it's Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> I actually think you're fighting them more like a Power Punch 2, though. The unofficial sequel to Mike Tyson's Punch Out that's super horrible, where you're fighting aliens in space. I think it ended up like the prototype was called uh, Mike Tyson's Intergalactic Power Punch, I think is what it was called. Getting some bad luck. He keeps catching me at the door. But yeah, this game's awesome, man. And I'm sure there's not a lot of people <laughs> who will say that, you know? <laughs> Pretty much everyone you talk to will tell you that this game is complete and utter fucking garbage, and that's it, you know? Because a bigger reviewer told me that, and I completely agree, you know? I watched his video and the game looks horrible and he didn't know how to play it, so it's fucking garbage. <clears throat> you still haven't defeated Jason. Alright, well, let's get him one more time. Since I'm sitting here talking and not paying a lot of attention to the game, I keep forgetting where I just fought him. Because you can catch him again while he's on the road. Because he goes in a very, very specific pattern. It's not random at all. And I'm pretty sure I said this exact thing already, but the randomness that is there, you can counteract easily. Yeah, he's way over there. I think I just fought him in the woods again. Yeah, I really don't pay attention when I'm doing these videos, which is a bad thing. Thank you, George. That's the only thing that I can say really sucks about this game is the music. The do 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 It could have been better. It needed to be a lot longer since you're on the map for a long time. So hopefully I get a different pattern this time. I'm gonna sit here and wait for a second because it seems to determine your pattern by when you press start on this screen. And I got the same fucking pattern again, dude. That's really crazy. That makes me sad that I got the same pattern like three times in a row. The first time it might have been different, but it's definitely the same the second two times. Get the knife first, since I forgot that both times the other time. <sighs> Going back to the LJN games I had though as a kid and still today, it was this. Back to the Future 2 and 3, which is horrible. Fucking Jaws, which I talked about for a second. Uh, Karate Kid, which I don't remember beating back then, but today the game's a fucking joke. It's got four stages, it's a joke. And then Town and Country Surfing and Skateboarding. Which is the game I played the most out of LJN, definitely, because that game is actually 100% good. That's a good game.
I still don't exactly understand the surfing. I can do it, but I just don't have fun doing it, so the surfing sucks, but the skateboarding is real fun. I've rolled the counter a few times on that, going over 99. And at least on the NES, I'm pretty sure there's probably a big difference between the two. But I think Acclaim put out just as much, if not more, garbage than LJN did. Because a lot of uh, Acclaim games are pretty bad. And I think some of the early or later LJN games were made by Acclaim. Because this one, believe it or not, was made by Atlas who makes some pretty awesome games nowadays. One of my favorite uh, PS2 games, they made uh, Odin Sphere, which is awesome. Odin Sphere? Odin Sphere? Yeah. I don't care. Game's great either way. A little bit grind grindy-ish, but it is an RPG, so it's to be expected. Yeah, dude, that main uh, map music fucking sucks. It needed to be a lot longer. Oh, Jason's not in here, which means he went the opposite way. That's what I keep meaning about, uh... Jason has some randomness, but there's ways to tell what he's doing. So he's gonna wind up way on the left side of the map if I don't kill him right here. So now he should be way on the left, which is going to be kind of a hot, kind of a hike. Because he can't avoid the caves forever. So if you get somebody by that house in the upper left and one or two people in the caves, you're going to always catch them. That's it. I think that's 3 Friday the 13th in under 20 minutes it looks like looking at the camera. So I hope you kind of enjoyed. You know, I did play the same game three times in a row and I think I kept getting the same pattern, but uh, I hope you kind of enjoyed it. You know, thanks for watching and all that good stuff. I do want to challenge one person to play this game though because he challenged me in a few different videos and I never got to challenge him back because my challenges would be stupid and ridiculously bad but uh, I want to challenge Benny, the Mr. Benevolent Dick, to play this game and you don't have to beat it, you don't even have to make a video about it, just play it and give it a chance. and. 
Let me know what you think, man. I don't think it's that bad nowadays. It's actually pretty damn fun. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and y'all take it easy.